In this paper, we present multi-stage cable routing through hierarchical imitation learning. Routing cables is a common task in the manufacturing of various products, such as automotive harnesses and wire assembly. Generally, this task is completed by humans, as automation of cable routing presents a challenge for robots due to a variety of factors. In this work, we build a robotic system capable of securing a cable through an array of thin slot clips in different positions and angles, generalizing to vastly different cable shapes. This task reflects many of the difficulties that real-world cable routing presents to robots. Intractable modeling of the interaction between the deformable cable and rigid objects, a high degree of precision required in securing the cable, and the long-horizon nature of the task creating problems and generalizability. Our system consists of a 7 DOF robotic arm and 4 cameras, one mounted on the side, one on top, and two on the wrist of the robot. They provide visual information of the task from various angles for different parts of our system. Our approach consists of a hierarchical framework where a high-level primitive selection policy is used to compose a combination of learned and scripted low-level primitives sequentially to complete the multi-clip routing task. Our design is modular in terms of the position and the number of clips, as this information is abstracted away from the low-level primitives to ensure generalizability. Our first primitive, route, is trained using imitation learning. The policy controls the robot in XYZ translation and z-axis rotation using view invariant sensory input from the wrist cameras fed through separate ResNet-18 encoders, along with proprioceptive information. We train this policy using human demonstrations, an example of which is depicted on the right. Our primitive library also comprises of three other scripted primitives to assist the robot in completing the task. Pickup uses image segmentation from the top camera view to determine a grasping point on the cable and hold it within the robot grippers. Perturb also uses a top camera to grasp the cable and change its shape so it becomes easier to route. The go next primitive transitions our high level policy to the next clip once the previous has been routed. Our high level policy acts as a planner that chains the four primitives sequentially. It determines the next primitive to execute using sensory input from both the wrist and side cameras fed through separate ResNet-18 encoders, combined with proprioceptive information and an embedding representing the history of primitives the robot has already executed at the current clip. We collect demonstration data for the high-level policy after the primitives have been trained. The human expert will input the desired primitive, wait for the robot to execute autonomously, then enter the next primitive. Repeat this until all clips have been routed and the trajectory is complete. Here is a video of a robot completing the three clip cable routing task autonomously. The visualization in the top left corner depicts the high level policy selecting a primitive to execute once the previous has completed. Notice that the primitive history updates with the most recent added to the right. Also, notice that the history clears once the go next primitive has been called, indicating that the system is about to route through a new clip independently from the previous. Additionally, by only collecting a small amount of on-policy correction data in HG dagger fashion, we can fine-tune our model and enable generalization to unseen clip configurations in the offline data set. As shown in the video, when a zero-shot policy takes an agreeable action with the human expert, we allow it to continue the trajectory. However, when it makes a mistake, the human expert performs on-policy correction. Here is a video of the autonomous execution of our policy on unseen four-clip configurations after fine-tuning. The high-level policy selects the route primitive repeatedly when it's unsure if the cable has been routed successfully. It's also able to recover from failed pickups by using the perturb primitive on the cable. For our code, data, and more videos, 
please visit our website at the link on screen.